Hello and welcome to the Lone Star Conference Hoops Weeks 2023 online pre presentation for Basketball Media Days. On behalf of the Lone Star Conference, I am Brandon War, Athletic, Athletic Communication Specialist for UTPB. Thank you for joining us today. We are joined by head men's basketball coach Kyle Tom, Keon Craddock, a senior guard from Garland, Texas, and Nathaniel Bastian, a grad student, center, for power, center slash power forward from Nassau, Bahamas. So coach, to kick things off, can you talk about playing the Low Star Conference, the competition, style of play, preparation, preparation for the Division II tournament, and the tradition of Low Star Conference basketball? Yeah, I, th I think I'm probably biased in the deal, but I think the Lone Star Conference is probably the elite uh, Division II basketball conference in the country. And I've uh, been through the league now two years, and, and I think what makes it unique is the, the coaches are really good. I mean, there's not, a, there's not an off game. you got to be ready to go every night. The players are elite uh, at this level. They, everybody's got really good players. Uh, and then different styles of play. I mean, you, you'll play against one team and they'll play a completely one way. And then on Saturday, you'll play a team with a completely different way. So you got to play lots of different ways to be effective. You got to guard in the half court. And, you know, there's some games of transition, some games are low scoring. Um, but, but everybody's really physical and tough defensively. So, you know, I have always contended that if you can play at the top of the Lone Star Conference, you can play with anybody in the country. And, uh, you know, again, that's kind of been the goal since we've got here. And part of the reason we came here, too, was I felt like that if we, we uh, could get the program to a level where we could play at the highest level that we were going to be able to play with anybody in the country. So obviously been in, impressed with the league here two years, and it's just continuing to get better as well. Kind of on that note, what are your expectations for the team this season? You know, I think probably my expectations are higher than anybody else, any fan, UTPB or athletic, you know, directors or, or department or whatever. So, I mean, my expectations are always going to be high. Um, you know, we're not shying away from – what we expect from 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 our program and our players here. So, you know, right now the goal is just, you know, showing up and, you know, winning the day, showing up, competing in practice and, and, and learning from the day before and making progress and getting better and, and doing little things right. And so I think if you can do those things, it allows you to win games. And again, that's kind of been our goal right now. We haven't talked about, hey, we have to do this or X number of wins or championships or whatever, because those things all come together if you can show up and do things right every day and again that's kind of been our goal so far uh this next question for you keon um what non-conference game or tournament are you are you most looking forward to and why um i'm really just looking forward to like the first uh that first game that we have against uh adam state because it's the first game so it's going to be the most important game of the season all right so we'll push it to you next nathaniel do you think it's important to have a team with the highest scoring offense or a team that allows the least number of points on defense uh personally i believe that defense win games and uh decent defense always leads to a good offense so i always feel like defense is a factor that you should always emphasize especially in the team like more so maybe even more than offense because offense will always fall you know on your defense for real all right coach back to you um what changes or improvement have your team made since last season well we've made a lot of changes you hopefully we've made a lot of improvements but um, we've made a lot of changes, and I, and I felt like I've told people that I felt like this program's ours for the first time. Kind of took the job two years ago, and you know, you had guys in the portal, and you brought some guys with you, and you had some guys that really were bought in, and and then last year was a little bit the same thing. So you know, at the end of the season, it was like, hey, we've got to, I've got to do my job. It starts with me, and uh, what what decisions need to be made, and what corrections need to be made, and I thought personnel was one of them. So uh, we've got a lot of new players in here. Um, We've got a, a brand new team. Obviously, Keon Baggins has been through the league and Nathaniel's played in the league. So we've got two guys that understand the level that we're getting into every night. But but I think but I think we, we we've done a good job of making sure we're getting the right pieces in here too. Guys that want to be here at UTPB, guys that like competing and playing basketball. It's important to them every day. Um, I think that's important. You can win with guys like that. So um, you know, guys that, that are willing to work hard and buy into something bigger themselves. So you know, we've, we've made a lot of decisions uh, over the, you know, since, since February, essentially, um, that has led us to this point. So we're hoping that we're, we're headed the right direction, and I think we are. We kind of, kind of continue on the note, no, um, what have you learned about your team's offseason, and what are you seeing um, with your team through the early season practices? Yeah, I mean, these guys will work. I mean, we've practiced four times, and I have a fifth one today, and then obviously with the preseason and then most of our guys are around the summer too. So you at least kind of see them being around them this summer, which was good, kind of build some chemistry and things like that. One thing that these guys do is they will show up and they compete. I think the other thing that's been positive, they'll let us coach them. So, you know, it means 
it's new. Everybody's new, except Keon essentially has been not been in a practice. So um, they're, they've allowed us to coach them and try to correct them. And they come in with a willingness to learn um, and get better. So you know, the work ethic's been really good. I think they like playing basketball. They like competing. They want to win. Um, they're buying into that. So that, that's been a good thing for us so far as well. We'll kick it back to you, Nathaniel. Um, how is your team involving itself with the local community and in campus? Uh, so recently we just had a pumpkin patch. Like we just offloaded a trailer full of pumpkins for a, a local church. And um, we was really involved with those guys. And now that I'm, I'm actually uh, about to go there and attend that church now too to, you know, really further myself personally within the community also. We'll kick it back to you, Keon. Uh, what traditions or game day activities give you, do you think give your team um, the best home court advantage? Uh, we really don't try to do anything special, no matter regardless if it's a home game or a game. We just have try to have a suit around to where we're getting our minds flowing on the game and focus on the game and just having those uh, like good thoughts before the game and just prepare for the, the game that day in that moment. All right, Coach, we'll kick it back to you for a couple more questions. Um, what is the most important aspect of basketball your team needs to focus on to be successful this season? I think a couple things. I think the first, it, it really doesn't have to do with basketball. It has to do with will they show up and compete for each other every day? Uh, will they buy into what's going on? Do they like each other? Do they enjoy being around each other? I think that's the first thing. It's not necessarily just about the basketball. I thought that was a little bit our problem last year, too. It was, you know, it wasn't. We had those issues. Hopefully this group will, will buy in together and enjoy being around each other. And then those things usually typically happen. Nathaniel pitched on, uh, on defensive. I think we're going to have to be able to guard at a high level. You know, if you're going to win games, uh, you're going to have to compete on the defensive end. And then we've tried to clean some things up offensively. I think we've got more weapons on the floor. Uh, we'll be harder to guard. We've got an inside presence this year. We've got more guys that can shoot the ball uh, this year, more guys that can bounce the ball. So we, we, we will have enough guys on the offensive end if they'll move the ball and they'll play together um, and be be efficient on getting good shots. You know, I think those those aspects are – you know, can we do we like each other? Will we compete with each other every day? And then obviously the defense and the and then the offensive hey, being together and, and being connected on those things as well. Kind of wrap things up. Um, which newcomers do you expect to make an impact? Well, they're all newcomers, so <laughs> <laughs> any, yeah, any we, specific kind uh, of I mean, I think there's so many of them. It'd be yeah. hard to I mean I can mention all of them and I think they're all gonna bring something positive uh, to our team. So um, there, there's a lot of guys, obviously We've got two seniors on the roster with Keon and Nathaniel. We're counting on their leadership and, and them being through the Lone Star Conference and having an understanding of, of the, the grind of it, the nights in and the nights out. But there's several different guys that, um, that are here now uh, that, are, that are newcomers. And we've added some freshmen, too, that we like as well, um, that if those guys will show up and compete every day, that we need them to make impacts. So that's why we brought them here, is to, to help our program move this thing going forward. It's time now in year three of the program to, to move this thing going forward. Well, thank you, Coach Colin, Keon, Nathaniel, uh, for joining us today, and good luck this season. I appreciate you. Thank you.